September 13, 2021, 8.25 p.m. Today would have been four days into our big trip this year, most likely the last camping trip of the year. So instead of writing about life on the road, I'm here in the ghetto of the South Bronx smelling garbage, blowing through my window. We couldn't even go hiking after taking August off. I'm sad, angry, depressed, and feeling defeated, and trying my best to stay upbeat for Hannah Elizabeth. I want to go to New Mexico. Perhaps I'll just tap into my retirement and say, F it. Let's go. September 24, maybe, 2021, 9.50 a.m. Today we would have been heading back home, or already home from New Mexico, facing the issues and so on that awaited our return. But here I sit at my desk in this loud city trying to hear my own thoughts, two weeks after our start date, having never left New York. I've spent the past two weeks in battle with my doctors, the clinics, and the pharmacy, and health insurance companies, trying to get the medicine needed to help with my diabetes. Today, my glucose was 180. It's been high for three weeks now. I've made my choice to go to New Mexico anyway. Even if our home issues aren't settled, I said that last week, but today, I feel like it's a done deal. I don't want to spend the rest of my years wondering what if I had just gone. The window was closing, as winter will soon be here. Cold, flu, asthma, and COVID season. There are still many issues with housing, the lease facing us, lack of jobs and money and income. Our online business isn't flushed out yet. But if we don't go now, we'll be stuck here, dealing with everything and never getting a chance like this for a great while. Heck, maybe never for me. I say, let's go, enjoy the time, and deal with life's never-ending problems when we return. God willing, of course. October 9th, 2021. Day 1. I woke up at 2.30 a.m. and then again at 3. I got ready, stretched, packed some stuff last minute, and then started packing the camp equipment. I went to sleep at 12 a.m. We're four hours into the trip, and we're both very tired, but we're doing the thing. No campsite tonight. We'll be in a room somewhere. That's all for now. 8.21 p.m., Virginia, October 9th, 2021, Saturday, day one. Well, we started our way to Las Cruces, New Mexico, this morning at 9 a.m., late three hours behind to drive 200 2150 plus miles in 32 or 34 hours in virginia now been driving forever haven't made a dent and we now have about 27 miles. to 28 hours to go both exhausted but most likely he's more tired than i am I had a nap for like an hour. I want to take over and drive, but it's dark, so I don't know about that. I'm not really worried about our safety. Well, not a whole lot. But Dad is coughing more, and we have nowhere to stay tonight. I was going to suggest hunkering down in the car for a few hours with the sleeping bags, but I don't know how Dad feels about that. I went to bed about 10 p.m. last night after food shopping. I set my clock for 4.30 a.m. Hannah, 
who had been up since 3 a.m., woke me up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Scared me. I didn't fall asleep until midnight. I think it was 1 a.m. So, no real sleep. Our failure to be timely has been costly. And my failure to be steadfast and what I want and what I want to do has led to last minute issues like no available hotels. I can't drive anymore. Way too tired. Too late for a campsite. I'm less frustrated than I was when I started writing. I'm very tired and my eyes are burning. However, I'm more concerned about the slight cold I have. Without proper rest, it might get worse. At 58 years old, that could be a major problem. I hope to drive 15 hours today, stop in Missouri for the night and start out in the morning to reach New Mexico to the KOA. We're booked from Sunday to Friday, but I fear now that we won't make it until Monday. I didn't tell anyone we left. I have been depressed for a while and everyone's lack of joy or negative comments just make things worse for me. I can't think of a time outside of Cheryl when people were ever really happy or supportive about something that brings me joy. That's why I say very little to people. My dad was surprisingly happy when I called him today. He's been very sick lately, lots of tests. He said, God bless you, be careful and keep in touch. That was very surprising. Time to drive. Sunday, October 10th, 2021. Day two, 4 a.m. We still haven't slept a full night's sleep yet, but I've taken a series of naps all at rest stops. I think dad has taken some naps too. We're still in Virginia, but we're almost to the state. It's cold. Still not inclined to go home though, just tired. Like I told him yesterday, if he wants to go home at this point, I'm not taking the stuff upstairs and unpacking. He's going to have to do it himself. Also, I now have a scratchy throat. Could just be from the lack of proper sleep. Okay, that's it. 6.57 p.m. October 10th, 2021. Sunday, day two. After not finding a hotel, I drove around from one rest stop to another, each time closing my eyes for a few minutes. There was a peacefulness about driving on an empty highway at night, but about 2.30 a.m., I couldn't take it anymore, and I started to slide into other lanes. I pulled into a rest area and slept for 25 minutes. Around 4 a.m., we started out again, nonstop. At 8 a.m., we stopped to freshen up. It was a long day of driving. I woke Hannah up once we had finally gotten out of Virginia. Of course, she still fell asleep. It was a productive day of driving but I've had little sleep. About 4 p.m., we chose to stop driving and got a hotel room. I hope to get some sleep and to start the final 18 hours to Las Cruces, New Mexico in the morning. I'm scared, very scared, but I wanna do this. 
And I want Hannah to remember that she made this journey. Sunday, October 10th, 2021, day two, 7.24 p.m. We're in a hotel. We made the executive decision to stay here and sleep until one and then roll on to New Mexico. Sleeping laying down is going to feel great. And with that, I'll say goodnight because my eyes are burning. Twenty-one.